GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Swamp Start scenario. And you can see it's all nice and foggy down in my basement, as usual, on the Swamp Planet. At this altitude, down near the water level and area. So, that's why I made stuff above the foggy level and that's where we're going to go but first let's grab a bunch of stuff because today we're going to start our CV build we have a whole bunch of I, I mean we can totally get this going here uh, with all these combat steel blocks we've got a bunch of hardened steel which I can turn into combat steel hardened steel so yeah, we've got enough to get started here. I'll move the core. I have an extra cockpit. Um, I was going to just use this one to make the capital vessel starter kit with, but then I decided, you know what? I, I think I want it for the rear because I want two cockpits. Uh, I kind of like a panic cockpit. And you'll see, you'll see as I build this. So we've got all our stuff that we looted. Uh, so we don't really need to make much. I, I, I even ground down some stuff. We, we had some extra T2 RCS. Because I don't think we're going to need more than six of these T2s. That's we're, we're, we're building a starting CV, not a big, huge combat CV. So, yeah. Um, okay, what else should we grab? What else are we going to need right away when we start building this thing? We've got the extra core, because we're going to move the core. Mm. I kind of want to melt these things down and make the better windows. Because I don't have any of the better windows. So I think I want to do that. And, yeah, so let's do that. Let's, I think we can deconstruct those. Let's see if it lets us. If not, then I don't think we can upgrade them. Yeah, it'll let us. It put us, it, it let us put it in. Yep. Okay. Well, we get a lot for them. Or is that how many, how many per... That was, let's see how many, it goes down by 62, and it's two, okay. Two per, to get a even amount, so there's no fractions. Good, okay. Well, we'll let that spin up, because that'll give us extra sathium and stuff. We don't need the windows right off the bat. Um, and we do have... I mean, what, what do they take? What do they take? Let's take a look. We've got quite a bit now. Although we don't have a lot of sathium. Um, let's see. Uh, heavy windows. So they need eight hardened steel plates. 15 glass plates and 10 steel plates. So 15 glass plates. Ouch. And then the hardened steel. I got lots of those. We've got the regular steel. So it's the glass plates. And what does one glass plate? One ingot. Ow. One per one. Eek. Wow. Okay. Wow. Because I have, what I have in mind is going to be like a, um, a diamond shape. So it's going to be like 45s with, yeah, so the front's going to be, hmm. Oh, 
Well, it's going to be interesting. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll make them later. We'll see how many we need. That's going to be expensive, though. Wow, I didn't realize how much silicone it was going to require. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how much silicone do I actually have? I know we looted a crap ton of it. Yeah, I mean, we've got... Did we put any in the furnace? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything left in the furnace. And we do have some on the vehicles. So I, I think the like I think the SV has like a full stack from looting. So there's that. Okay. Um let's just go up there and start. We can grab stuff while standing on the I need to move that somehow. I don't like where it is. Just you know, it's too easy to get burnt. And I can't really put up a anything because the blocks are there's yeah it just <laughs> doesn't work yet I gotta I gotta move it and and this is ridiculous I, I didn't actually realize it was going to be this high up to the top of the uh, plateau um, yeah so Speaking of teleporters, I was talking about this a couple of episodes ago. Funny enough, uh, soon after, I was watching some of Lift Pizza's um, series that he's been running for a while from from the Alpha and or from Alpha Eight, I think, onward, and he has used uh, like a, I guess he did it a good month ago so he is way ahead of me on this thought process and he also used the auto miners like he had turned the whole he had build the auto miner and then just throw it away and pull out a portal and sync them together type thing so I think I'm going to be of like mine and I'm going to make a couple of uh, T3 standing up here for a sec. Oh, it, I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Uh, that's okay. You can't really see. You can see the platform is big enough at this point. Um, it's actually, that's all dug out there. It's just, it's just a visual glitch until we go down there. It'll show it to be dug out. But, um, yeah, we have a big enough platform to build the CV on, so I think we need to get this going. We're going to use the HV as just a, uh, a comfy little spot to sit in and and be comfortable in. Okay, where where's the door? There it is. <laughs> need to paint that or something. Paint that line. Okay. So, I guess what we also should do is this thing is pretty much ready to be, oh wait, is it damaged and stuff I think still? Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's got a bunch of damage. She got a little bit shot up, she got a little bit shot up, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a repair bay down, and it's going to be down there. Down in the frickin' center. So, I also was saying that I'm not going to use the blueprint factory this scenario. Well, I think I've reevaluated that. I'm not going to use the blueprint factory... The way it currently functions, where it's like free form, willy nilly, throw it down on top of a platform if you have it, your scenario configured like that, or your settings, your game settings. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to role play a little bit, 
And instead of spawning in stuff from the blueprint just on a just on a platform, it's gonna have to be on a repair bay. We'll we'll say that that holds all the um, scanned information in it, and that makes the most sense because because repair bays can replace whole blocks. So in theory, it could replace your entire ship, right? If you only had the one, one tiny little block, the repair bay can replace your entire ship. I'm pretty darn sure. I would, I would actually like to test that one day, and I think that's kind of cool. We might actually do that, not with one of these ships, because they're just too much stuff. And I still gotta, I still got to. I think this has a saved a template on it, and it doesn't show. Why not? Do I have to be in it? I might have to be in it. Let's uh, let's jump in it for a sec because it, I still, it's all beat up. She's all beat up still. I've been putting her through the ropes. So yeah, it's got a, it's got a save template. So we should be able to repair up from that. And that's why I haven't touched her yet because I want to do that. So today, I want to get the repair thing set up and the CV started. So we're going to build. I remember we, we looted this T2 repair bay. Like, Uber. Oh, that's a huge find. And then I need to make a console for that. So I, I should have enough in here to make a console and okay I haven't learned it yet so I'm pretty sure I rose a level and I didn't take anything yet so yeah we've got 255 unlock points because I rose a couple levels and I didn't actually unlock anything so we need to um, we need to unlock the Base, where is it? Repair bay console, and we're gonna we're gonna unlock the whole thing there. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the laser turrets and all that right now. I just want this combo set up here going. I'm not gonna worry about land claim and all that crap. Uh, I think I also want to do that for the CV. Still got, and then, is that, no, it's miscellaneous, right? Yeah. Okay, and then I want to do the auto miner devices, even though I probably wasn't going to be, but now this will, this will be justification for for doing a, a portal so I'm spending the, 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 the unlock points and it's a level 20 thing that's not unreasonable level 20 I mean you can warp at level 10 eh, you know so and and the whole game has this sort of teleport dynamic built right into a whole bunch of tools and stuff like how else would the drills work and stuff like that right it, it gets sucked into like a, a little teleport chamber that puts it into like a neatly stacked compartment somewhere right like it's yeah I mean come on this is very advanced technology we can't even comprehend that teleport technology could be built into the drills what like why not why not that makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it make sense, right? It sucks it up. Where did, well, how, how does it suck it up? It sucks it up through teleportation. Why not? Why not? Use your imagination. Come on. Anyway, where are we going to put the console, though? We don't want it way up here, do we? Unless, see, the problem is I want the CV to benefit from the repair station so we're gonna go put it downstairs let's just head down there and we can grab stuff while we're down there okay this thing 
handles. Oh, oh, man, the grass just keeps coming back. I can't get rid of it. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I mean, I can try. Here, let's try, let's try, let's try this. <laughs> try something ridiculous. What do I got on me here? Do I got a, yeah, I do. Nice, okay. So, let's see. Let's see, there's a little bit of dirt there. Will it let me, oh, I had it there for a second. Come on, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Nice! Okay, oh, I can't grab it. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> uh, oops, don't want to sleep till morning. That was cool. I set up, I set it up. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's funny. Um, okay. I have the grass killer. Any blobs of dirt around? No, 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 no. Uh, too bad. Well, maybe I can, um, I don't really have to worry about losing atmospheric pressure. Yay. Oops. Pick that up. Throw the, uh, concrete block back down so that's a useful um, tool used for the tent <laughs> other than time travel so wow did it just spawn right behind me when I'm like zapping stuff just just to spite me I don't know, maybe I didn't see it before, but this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Grass cannot regrow through... Well, yes, it can. Well, just shut up now. Okay. There, I had to, had to do that. That was a little OCD, but come on. Okay, so these little ones, I'm not so stressed about. The little, the little tiny, can barely see them, but those big float in your face, frickin' fields of wheat were just bugging me. Okay, hmm. Did I derp? Can I not get in? What I'm, What am I wearing? What am I wearing? Oops. Oh, I'm wearing my heavy armor. Okay, so let's change that out. Let's change that out. We'll get back into the... Uh... Empty, empty, empty. Okay. Actually, um... If I'm taking the boosts out, I might as well just take them all out, right? That's good. Okay. And we'll throw that back in there. And we'll go like this and go, whoa, there we go. I should be just wearing medium armor with three multis anyway for tinkering around out on the planet here. I, it doesn't, it, I consume less uh, food that way, a little bit less food. Not much. Heavy armor with the four multis is just about as good for food consumption. See, see, look at this floating freaking grass. Oh, and we have nasties so can they get to us where were they I heard them 
Oh. Whoa. Um. Um. Really? Are they like right here beside us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got uh, walls up. Huh. Uh, that's not good. I think I need to change that so they can't. Hmm. What, um, do I have any concrete on me? Do I have any concrete on me? That's freaking me out now. <laughs> <laughs> They're loud. Uh, maybe I need... Oh, no, I can't put a sentry out. That'll trigger drone base attacks. I don't want to do that while I'm building a CV. Um, do we have any blocks that we can play with here? Got those. Plastic blocks. Wood blocks. Got steel blocks. Okay. Got a bunch of the steel blocks. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Doesn't need to be too high. They just, it just has to be at least oh see that's a little you know what let's just let's just zap this down a little bit and then we know they're not gonna get up there we go there we go, we should be fine now. I don't think they can get us now. I don't think they can get in. We can we can even just just for fun. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't think see it's it's like at least a full block high now for them okay I just didn't want it interfering with the CV build so didn't really want to have it sticking up high this wall is one thing it's just it might the, the, the build might stick out past because I'm gonna be it's gonna be facing this this way so the nose may stick out past Ugh, those things are annoying. You know what? You know what? Shall we deal with them? Let's turn our... Let's go in and turn our Gatling guns on. We can turn our drills off. Okay. Is it like underneath us, right? Trying to get to us? No? Okay. I don't know. I don't see it, personally. Oh, wait. There it is. It's still... I can shoot my own... Nope. There we go. Thank God for the... 18 or so RCS in this thing. <laughs> okay. There. Can 
Come on, you can do it. Okay. So, where are we going to put the console? The console. Hmm. We might have to move the console. And in fact, I think we'll probably have to move the console. But for now. I guess we can put it up against this wall, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab it. It should be ready. Oh, I didn't even cook it, did I? Derp a derp. Let's go back and build it. So that is for CVMBA. Okay. Right, I only had to learn that once, but I had to learn all of these separately. Whatever. And then we need to find some auto miner cores now. Or, or did I have any on here? Is there any on here? Might be on the SV. Let's I put some in here. No. We do have some kits though, some weapon kits. A bunch of wood logs. Yeah, see I've got pretty good ore in there. Not not a ton of silicone though. Lots of stone though. I was making lots of concrete with this. Um Okay. Darn, I guess. Maybe I haven't looted any. Hmm. Hmm. That's too bad. Oh, a couple large. That's cool. Um. Yeah, no. Well, okay. this so we can upgrade all the hardened steel as we lay it down um hmm. okay well that's too bad this doesn't have it it's got to be in the ass feet let's go let's go look let's go I want to get the, that place too. I want to get the portal done because I think that would be just way, way easier to deal with. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what I'm thinking of is maybe four portals I'm not sure now or more I think it all depends on how many um, auto miner cores I can loot uh oh if I clean this thing out oh too bad I'm not gonna have any then no I haven't looted any yet that's too bad Okay, well, we're not making those today, then. Uh, okay. Well, that's something we're going to be looking for, then. And some auto miner cores. We, we may go purchase some. How much cash do we have here? We have 58000 We could buy a few. I don't really want to. We've got a bunch of medium armor now we can sell too. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I guess we could do that. Well, not today. So we'll go put the console down. We'll go put the console down. So we'll grab that. 
sorry, I should have grabbed that before I despawned. Okay, grab that. Okay. Actually, here let's go down because it was a little bit it was a little bit high to jump jump into it. That could be an issue if I uh, if I'm on a heavier if I if I'm at a place with slightly heavy gravity. I mean, this has a little bit heavier than one, but not much. It's it's pretty pretty close to one. It's not that bad. So, and I was just barely able to get in. And that was with fairly optimized jumping. I mean, I guess I could put two boost jetpack boosts on on light armor and go flying up into the air, but didn't quite need to do that. Okay, so let's let's jump out and do this. We're gonna place this. Oh, where should we place this? Not really sure if I'm going to be keeping this wall here, but I think we have to for the predator situation at this point. So, hmm. Let's turn it though. Let's turn it this way. Not really sure if I like it right up against. We could. Um, I don't think we need it right up against in the corner. Okay, and then what? Come on, give me a break. This is getting ridiculous. Really? Can I can I actually get rid of that with my tent? Let's try. Let's try because that's that's insane. I'm not sure if the stuff comes back after tenting it, <laughs> but it's just starting to get a little. Cr oh yeah, wait, I can't place a tent here. Oh well, maybe. Yay! <laughs> uh, alphas, gotta love it. Okay, um, yeah, see, my time machine is also a lawnmower, a time machine lawnmower, you got it, that's what I got, that's what my tent is, it's a time machine lawnmower, uh, oh, let's put the air bay down, uh, I guess actually somewhere fairly close to here because we'll just have to, you know, move ships around. So I want the CV to be able to access it. So it's going to be, you know, somewhere right around here, I think. That way we can park stuff off in the corners and then have come here to repair. Okay, so, where are you? T2 repair bay. Okay, that is super cool. Woohoo! So, let's see what, what we gotta do to repair the HV. Park on it. Right? Am I am I on it or am I too far back? No, I'm on it. Okay, so we should be able to just 
Go like this. I should be able to just jump out. And then... Let's see what's going on here. No repair mode is set, so we're going to repair blocks. Ship is powered. Oh, okay. Um, right. Okay, so what does it need? It wants iron ingots of an unknown amount. Okay. Uh, what about repair the template? Mount needed. Has no has no damage blocks. Can I be uh, okay? Um. Not enough resources, so it needs iron ingots of some sort. So we I don't think we can throw steel plates in, can we? No. No. Um that's too bad. Okay. So iron ingots. Okay. Got 200 there. Let's grab those. There we, you know what we need to do is throw some of these in here right now, because we don't need all those. Same with that. We can actually put the rest of this crap away here, so it doesn't clutter up our our inventory while we're building. Okay, so. Let's put one in. No. Oh. There we go. Start repair. Let's put that down so I don't throw that away. There we go. It's repairing it. Okay. Now, she should be 100% repaired, hopefully. Let's take a look. And, yep, 100%. Nice. So that gets to all the little blocks that you can't see with the, with the gun, all the stuff on the inside of the engine compartment and stuff that were damaged by, by splash damage and whatnot. So, yeah, it's, uh, that's awesome. So we can bring the the SV down now and do the repair to template on it and see if it brings back all the uh, blocks that are missing. So let's do that. Okay. This is fun. We're not going to get much done on the CV, I know. We're just going to get basic, basically barely started, but that's okay. The CV build will be a multi-episode <laughs> series, basically. Uh, okay, so we're going to be coming back up here for this thing. So let's just... Did I... Did I put stuff in the fridge? Did I have pizzas on me or anything? No. Some hamburgers. What do I got in here? God, close everything. Thank you. Do I? No, they're off. Okay, so let's just let's just turn this off. That's fine. Oops. Right. Okay. So we should get our um, light back and thrust her back and then we'll have to do a repair and that'll repair all the blocks after that so let's try it let's try it Okay. Just get over top. 
top of it here. Okay, we'll just jump. Oh, you know what? We actually have to turn it off, don't we? Right, or else it won't repair. So that's the sad thing about, you know, you're in a huge CV that you want to repair, and it's got a bunch of grow plots. So, I mean, sure, the temperature slowly comes down, but what if it's going to, what if you're, I guess you can't do that in a cold environment. It has to be on, like, a planet like this. Fair enough. Okay, let's see what this is going to, it needs six just for repairs. So, I think, let's. Well, let us, yeah, see, it continues to let us add more. So we put nine in. What if we just do repair? Does it eat up all nine? Let's see. That's cool. Let me in. Okay, so it's not all banged up looking now, and it's all dark out. Why don't I, um, here, let's keep throwing this tent out, and now where, where is it when I really need it? Let's, uh, let's actually use the tent. Speed up time. So I have my, my lawnmower time machine. Okay. And then, heavy acid rain. Oh, crap, 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 crap. <sighs> I need to make an indoor hangar <laughs> on this freaking stupid planet. Um, okay, so if I jump out, how am I going to do this? take damage as soon as I turn it off. Okay, well, we're not repairing to template right now, then. Not with heavy acid rain just about to fall. We'll start the CV build, though. We can build. I don't want to build with this thing. It's, uh, it's not as efficient in fuel. For some reason, the HV is cheaper. I don't know why. Although the HV has way less thrusters, I guess. So, yeah, okay. okay. Well, not way less thrusters. No, it doesn't. Not really. Not really, now that I think about it. it has all those hover engines that make up for it, right? So, okay. Uh, let's get out of here into the... Oh, crap. We're going to take damage before it starts falling. Come on, come on. Get in there. Get in there. And okay, we lived. It's going to start. We're going to see a flash of lightning pretty soon. And we're going to see some deadly rain come raining down on our heads. And that's why I built vehicles like this with these box tops to be able to still function in ridiculous climates okay so let's find center here There was a flash of light, and there's the deadly rain. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. The other reason why I like the HB is because it's got a really good light spread. It's good for building. You know what? This is stupid. 
<laughs> I don't feel like waiting for the acid rain to go away for better quality video. I know this is cheating, but I'm going to clear. I'm going to clear the weather. Just, it's like, it's not damaging me. And I can totally do this, but it's going to look like crap for you guys. And see, I can, I can, I can jump out and I'm fine in here. I can open this and I'm fine. I don't take damage inside here. The, the force field protects me. I can even just jump a little without taking damage. I didn't, I didn't leave the safety of the thing and spawn this and now I can actually, you know, do stuff. So, hmm, am I actually facing the right way? No, I'm on an angle. Yeah, I'm on an angle. Okay. So we're gonna, really? It's on an angle? Okay. Go like that then. I'm trying to follow the lines, right? Okay, so, uh, where should we put the center of this? Just in front of us then, right? So like somewhere right around. if it's forward and sticking out past forward more I'd rather it be forward more so let's go a little bit more forward that's fine okay let's lay this down get this started instead of talking about it okay um, so here we go start of our capital vessel woohoo now the reason why I lined myself up so that when I jumped out I'd be nice and straight so that this although being too straight could be to my detriment hopefully the blocks don't line up and by what I mean the blocks line up I'll show you here because these blocks share it and good they see they obviously don't line up so if I if they're connected to the base, you can see they don't line up. Woohoo! Yes. Okay, good. That can be a problem sometimes. Okay, so let's... We're going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, ten. I'm making a pedestal, but because it's for a larger CV, it's got to be a little bit bigger than. Okay, so how many was that? That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I guess I could have put up a symmetry key, and let's see if that was stuck on the base and not the CV. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. There we go. Okay. So let's pop this stuff out. We have room here. Yep, no problem. And we're just going to fill this up. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We'll try 
five. We'll see if we can handle five. And then we're gonna grab our core and put that back. But this time up here. And then we're gonna grab our blocks and just fill this in around it. Very much how I did with the HV and the SV. I'm just going to follow that theme to core protection. Okay. I've got a symmetry key going. So, hmm. How do we want to do this? We want... We want this to come out more. Uh, so now, I think from the core levels, the floor going to be too thick. So there and then that. One. See, I think. Uh, not sure about this now. It's kind of a weird spot for the core, really. Now I think about it. That's okay. Uh, we can make this work. Right there, we need... No, this is fine. This is fine. This is actually... This is, this is more than fine. We're just going to work around this block of metal. Absolutely. So let's go 10 in every direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know what? Let's get a symmetry plane going. And we're going to do the symmetry plane YZ. And although I screwed that one up, I shouldn't have bothered. Let's do the other symmetry plane for now. We'll do, oops. XY, is that it? Oops. One, let's see, X, Y again here. There. Nope. Come on. There. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to do same thing. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to actually, here, let's just finish this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, it's definitely not big enough. So let's... Let's make it bigger. We're going to have to move. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get... You know what? Let's change, let's change back. Let's change the symmetry back to YZ. Right there. Yeah. I know it's, uh, I'm going to be pulling blocks down back and front, but that's okay. Three, four, five. So that's 15. Ooh, I might, yeah, I can't pull that that far. That's fine. And then we're going to do five this way. Okay. Four, five. Okay. Let's just go over here. And pull this. Now this one's actually going to be a bit longer because it's going to come to one, two, three, four, five. It's going to come more to a point. Three. Yeah. Okay. And then... So do I just... Do I do... Not all the way? Well, I do need... I do need... Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to... We need a 7 by 14. So 14, so that's 7. 1, 2, 3. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, we'll do a crap. That's not going to work. Hang on. I need to look at the... I need to look at the hangar doors. I need to look at the hangar doors. Where are they? Hangar doors. Okay. We have 14 by 7. That's an even number. That ain't going to work. We have 13 by 7. That'll work. Or we can do a higher one, which isn't that bad of an idea, considering that that'll help to fly in a, so we got nine high there, five high, seven high, nine high, nine high, 10 by nine. Mm, still still decent enough to fit both vehicles so let's do that I saw how that how big that was that's like that's that yeah that's bigger than the SV that's wider than the SV's wingspan so that should be sufficient okay let's go try let's go try it then let's go try it I want to see if this will work. So it's got to be further back a bit because the nacelles are going to be flat along the sides. So it can be a little bit more narrow than, than long. It can be longer than then it can be wide. That's okay. So let's. It's just that it'll be weird constructing something like that. 
unless we have the two to one ratio going. That's not bad. That might work. Do like a diamond teardrape, tear, tear, teardrop. Hmm. I don't know. That sounds difficult. <laughs> uh. Okay, what do we got here? We've got... God, I could just plop it down right there. Yeah, there's quite a few squares in. We can set up switches. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so there we go. We've got our doors in that now will define lots of stuff. Well, I'm going to leave the episode off here. Um, I know it doesn't look like much yet. Doesn't look like much yet, but it'll grow. It'll grow. It'll grow into something that'll take both of our vehicles to other worlds and explore other places other than this swampy planet. Well, once again, our, our HV here has serviced us quite well. And I'm really, ha really, really happy with this build. So let's go ahead and publish this. Oh, I should have brought it down a little lower first, right? Oops, bumped against it. I'm not going to get up there now. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to have to jump for the light. Jump for the light. There we go. Do the, do the double jump. Okay. Let's lower this down a little bit and get, get a picture taken. There, we'll find a good backdrop. A bit on an angle. Okay. Oh, I still didn't lower it. <laughs> okay. Let's let's do this. <sighs> there we go. That should look good for the picture. There we go. Should we throw it its full regalia? Let's do that. Let's do that. Ah, uh, what are we going to call this thing? This thing digs a hole like a, like a beast. Like it's a little... It digs holes really good. Oh, moles. <laughs> the hole, the hole mole. The hole mole? Oh my god. Really? The hole mole? I don't know about that. Uh... Wow, it's kind of catchy though, isn't it? The whole mole. Uh, I'm not sure. You know what? I, I kind of said it. It's it's stuck now. The whole mole. And set that jump out take a picture actually here let's get rid of all the markings and it's beautiful isn't it yeah yeah it's beautiful so here we go 
we're going to save it as the homo. And I'll, I'll publish a picture of the, um, all the goodies that it takes to build all the stuff it needs. So it's, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap vehicle. This is not a starter HV by any shape at all. This is a level 20 drilling HV with a whole bunch of creature comforts. So you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it in iron, really. Iron and copper. The rest of them has cozy and aren't cheap either, but that's because of the drills. So, not too bad. Neon cobalt, pretty minimal. Sath, because of the armor. Silicone, well, oh well. Yep, there you have it. Um, I'll publish that. And we can do that right now. There we go. Published. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Next episode, we'll continue on with the CV build. Uh, that'll be more of a dedicated build session and we'll get a lot more done and until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>